Hey, Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for April 21st, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarber.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Make sure you guys pay attention to the sky, Virgos, and hopefully the sky is not cloudy because on the southern and on the northern hemisphere, there's going to be a huge meteor shower. It's going to be really, really, really beautiful, and I thought you guys should take that, take that into consideration. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, tarotbarbie.com, Virgos. Uh, uh, coming with the Five of Cups, the World card, and the Page of Cups. So there could have been a complete ending between you and this person that you guys would have been dealing with. It could have been a Taurus, uh, an Aquarius, a Libra, a Scorpio, an Aries, a uh, Sagittarius, but Virgo and Gemini. But at the end of the day, they don't want their relationship to be over. There was nothing between the two of you guys being the Queen of Cups to the Ace of Pentacles to the Page of Cups. We're going to go this way. Uh, you guys look like you guys have to move on with your life with the Six of Swords because nothing was working out between the relationship between you and this person. At least n neither of you guys had nothing to offer each other. The crazy thing about it is, is that nobody wanted to offer anything in this connection with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It didn't make sense. You guys have so much love to give and this person had love to give towards you too. But in the end, there was nothing happening. Why is there nothing going on? It's the Ace of Pentacles. Why couldn't you guys just make it work? But uh, you know what? Life happens. It is what it is. Uh, but in the end, uh, they are going to try and come back towards you guys, maybe even apologize to you for the fact that they rushed on making a decision between the two of you guys. So now that the connection is over with the world card, seven of pentacles, they are going to come back towards you. They're going to be thinking a lot about it with the seven of pentacles on how they're going to try and find a way to come back for you. So they're sad. They feel bad about it as well. They're like, damn, like I actually like this person. This person had emotions to offer Like they're emotionally available anyway. They're going to try and find a way to manifest you guys back in, you know, uh, or you guys are going to be doing this to this person. They're going to come rushing back towards you guys with the Knight of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Uh, maybe in the next five days, so exactly five days, five to seven days exactly, Virgos, but heavy on the five is just simply that, you know, if, if today and in the next five days after watching this, if you guys are not talking to this person, five days exactly is when they're going to return back towards you. Because they're not going to be able to hold up going any longer than talking to you. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Things have to change for the better. This can't keep up anymore. Somebody's going to have to make a move, take action, and, and fight for whatever it is that they want between the two of you guys. So... This, somebody here could have also been in a marriage. There could have been a, an Aquarius here who was in a relationship or in a marriage with somebody else. It doesn't look like their marriage is going off all that great with the Knight of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Star card. Like, yeah, there's no, there's no, this person has no hope in, in the marriage that they have. They may have had eyes on you guys, but their connection between their Virgo and Aquarius is very toxic at the moment. They're like trying to pretend and make it look like their relationship is good with the Four of Wands. But this Nine of Pentacles, it might be the breadwinner. This Nine of Pentacles, this Virgo here who's dealing with an Aquarius, they are ready to make a move and hit the road. Uh, they are ready to live that single life and to be independent. They already can take care of themselves financially. They don't want to be with anybody who's dragging their energy down or sucking their energy dry, uh, devil card. So the Aquarius and the Capricorn look like you got a problem for the Virgos and Virgos are ready to make a move and leave you behind. Maybe even get a divorce or whatever the case is. But this Nine of Pentacles may have found out that the Aquarius may have been dealing with somebody else in the past. Six of Cups, Queen of Wands, you guys might be very beautiful or, you know, depending on where you sit in this energy. But even then... Um, be very careful too. Somebody here is a very much so a pathological liar and you guys are able to see right through them with the two of wands. The eight of wands are saying, look at things at a higher perspective. Something here is not going to be able to make sense, but you're going to be able to feel that it doesn't make sense with the justice card two of cups. So even if you guys are going to link up with this person, see them reunite with them, the things that they're saying to you does not make sense. It's the seven of swords to the eight of wands to the two of wands to the two of cups. They're not saying nothing correct. They're just pathological lies. They're going to do everything they can to get you back just for them to lie to you again. And that's simply because you guys are the nine of pentacles. You are everything. So this Gemini Libra Aquarius is going to come back and fight for the relationship. They're like spying on you. 
they're <laughs> they're watching you. They're spying on you. They said IG. They're anyway. They're it's all social media, but they are spying on you. They're seeing that you're more beautiful than ever. They see that you don't care. You're doing your own thing. You're doing you, and they're watching you. They don't want the cycle between you and them to be over. So they are gonna sit there and watch you, and maybe even come in and communicate with you. But you guys might be at the position of the nine of cups where it's like you're not paying any attention to this little kid shit energy anymore. I'm picking up a lot of kid shit energy, like shit that you guys are not willing to deal with. Uh, this person is seeing that you guys are successful, that you're happy, you're abundant, you're living your best life, temperance card, they're going to try and come back and trying to want to work the relationship out. But in order for them to be able to do that, they have to stop being a page and they have to be the emperor, Aries, Taurus, Libra energy. Uh, but even then, it's like, yeah, you're willing to put in the work, but are they able to put in the work here? And in the end... <sighs> In the end, Virgos, it is the Ten of Swords. There's a lot of betrayal here. Somebody here left their wife to go be with somebody who is very, very fly and who's slaying all the time. And they're going to find out that they were cheating on their wife. They, they're gonna, the wife and their husband are going to find out that they're, they were cheating with a mistress or that they were cheating with somebody else. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Wands, yeah, there's nothing to do, there's nothing to come out of the situation, it just stress, nothing burden, it's like having to bag this person for a little bit of what exactly, like what are you guys bagging this person for, it's like fine, put an end to it, death card of Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, yeah, King of Swords, and the full energy, so this person's gonna act like they're all playful, that is if they never did nothing wrong, they're gonna try and come back in, hoping that you guys are gonna build the relationship, there's nothing to be fixed here, if they weren't able to ever give you before, then what are they gonna be able to give to you now, all they do is, are, all, they're, all they are is a pathological liar, you guys have to see that for who they are, you guys can't, you guys have to stop pretending and saying, well, I just want to see the good in you, I just want to, why, why do you, why are you forcing yourself to see the good in somebody, everybody has good in them, they just have to choose who they choose to. They choose who they want to be good to. What are you talking about? Oh, I, I, well, I have a big heart, and I just want to, and I believe that they're a really good person, that they can change. Yeah, but the person that they're dealing with left, right, and center, they're probably tre treating them like a diamond, and they choose to treat you like that. They, pat, they are a pathological liar to you. They are, are a cheater. They are whatever the case is. But you want to see the goodness in them. Okay, so if you're going to keep up with that energy, Virgos and Crosswatch, if you're going to continue to keep telling, oh, well, I just want to see the goodness in them, then I guarantee you and I promise you, you're going to keep falling. You're going to keep falling. Spirit and the angels are saying, like, yo, wake up a little bit, two of wands. See things from a higher perspective. See things that this person is nothing but a pathological liar. Watch it. Because if you're going to sit there and be like, oh, I, I know you're a good person deep down. It's just God sent me to heal you. Listen. God did not send you to heal this person. God did not send you to heal this person. God sent you to this person so that way you can learn to stop being a good person to those who don't friggin' respect you. Wake up, Virgos. Not everyone's gonna have a good heart like you. Wake up. Wake up. All right? Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, this is bullshit. Put an end to it. This King of Swords is going to come back towards you, communicate with you. But they're still very cold. They're still very detached. If you're sitting there thinking that this person's going to show you their emotions, they're not. They're not. It's the King of Swords. Any King of Swords, the King of Swords never shows emotions. They're all in the head. They don't think with their heart. They think analytically. They think mathematically. They're doing algebra. They're doing chemistry. That's what they're doing. They're thinking about quantum physics. They're thinking about the, you know, the energy of the world. They don't really believe too much. They just do their thing and then hope that everything's going to be okay. At the bottom of the deck, they got the Six of Swords, the King of Cups. You guys got a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's coming in. This person wants to reach out to you guys. This person wants to talk to you. They want to reach out to you, Virgos. Uh, they're about to be coming towards you between now and the next six days of you guys watching this reading. You're going to expect, you're going to hear from them. And some of you guys may not really want nothing to do with this person, but in the end, you are going to communicate with them with a page of wands. You're obviously not offering them too much energy, but you are going to communicate with them. Especially after a long period of time of them not talking to you because you guys know that this person was nothing but selfish and manipulative and you guys don't want to be dealing with this shit. I'm picking up a lot of friendship energy, meaning like friends with benefits, uh, getting to know somebody and the relationships are not going anywhere either. Anyway, this person is nothing but selfish. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is just simply selfish energy. Only thinks about themselves, only thinks about their own uh, desires from what I'm seeing here. You guys are like the Page of Pentacles. You're like, I, 
life is difficult, but I'll give it a try. And it's like, what is the point of giving it a try? Just because you want the Ace of Swords may not mean that this person is going to want the Ace of Swords with you. Right? You guys got to be very careful. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, they said there's going to be like some sort of family function with the Ten of Cups of the Sun card. You guys are going to have a lot of fun or be really happy. Oh, my God. Anyway, Virgos, there's going to be a Taurus for a Capricorn who's going to come back towards you guys with the Ten of Cups of the Sun card. So in the summertime, in the month of August, or even in the month of October, this person is going to reach back out to you guys again. They've been taking their sweet-ass time to come back and communicate with you. They are still holding on to their, your energy. Tightly, they're holding on to your energy, but it's like... Uh, let the first person budge. They want you to be the one to run back to them with the four of swords of the strength card, but neither of you guys are budging. You're holding on to that line. They're holding on to their wand. They want you to come running to them and you want them to come to you, meaning no one's going to come to nobody four of swords. All because both of you guys want control. You know? <laughs> Anyway, Eight of Cups, the reason why you guys are holding on to that strength energy is because you guys have been in so much uh, betrayal and you guys have been tormented and abused so much in your life that you're not going to sit there and chase people who are not willing to meet you halfway. Whereas this King of Wands is more like deceptive energy, liar energy, like wanting to have you chase them. So you're doing the right thing by not chasing them at all with the strength card and soon to be, you will be walking away with it with the Eight of Cups, meaning you're not going to establish any kind of connection with this person and you're simply going to choose to walk away with modesty and integrity saying you know what I want to be with somebody who's going to want to fight for me I want to be with somebody who's going to want to be there for me not somebody who's going to be sitting there and be stubborn and annoying and saying nope they're always going to want you to run to them well then if you're always good if they're going to always anticipate for you to run after them then when are they going to ever run after you it doesn't make sense anyway it's the moon card bullshit energy like literally bullshit energy uh, yeah, so anyway, they're going to try and reach out to you. You guys are going to continue to focus on yourself and focus on self-love, at least for now, Virgos, and just take care of yourselves. You guys have been really sad with a lot of the people you guys have been dealing with, but there is going to be an opportunity coming towards you guys for work very soon. There could be two opportunities that are coming for you guys at work. One of them is going to be a little bit farther from you, and the one is going to be pretty close towards you. They're saying take the one that you want. Either way, you guys are going to get the opportunity that you guys are wanting at the end of the day. All right. There's going to be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who's going to say some stupid shit towards you guys. This could be a workplace situation and they're going to be really rude and really disrespectful towards you guys, Virgos. Like they're just going to be really just you're not dealing with their shit. Like this person sees that you're sitting there working, helping them out, whatever the case is. And in the end, you're ready to move on. And then it's like the moment you're ready to make a leave, like a leave or leave the workplace that you're at, they're going to try and tell you to stay back. They want you to work more. And it's like, you can't, you have to go uh, three of wands. Like you got other things you have to do. And they're going to be really rude and disrespectful to you. When they're rude and disrespectful to you, spirit and the angels are saying to you to stay silent. Do not say nothing to this person. Let the fruit fall on its own. Let them fruits fall on their own because that's exactly what's going to end up happening. You guys stay silent and let spirit and the angels and God and the owners and the people, let them deal with it. High Priestess, Three of Swords. You guys are obviously hurt and heartbroken. Three of Wands, Three of Wands to the Ace of Cups. Three of Swords, Three of Wands, Ace of Cups. You guys are divinely protected. That's three, three energy. You know, Virgos, three, three, three. The, the Ascended Masters are literally on your side. A lot of you guys might be spiritual workers, Reiki healers, light workers, you know, and... And if you guys are working in a place and you guys got people at the workplace treating you like shit or disrespecting you, Spirit is saying, yo, stay silent, high priestess, stay quiet. You guys are going to be hurt and heartbroken over what this person has said to you, but saying stay silent because we're going to end up putting an end to it. Like Spirit will be the ones to deal with it. You don't, say, you don't deal with nothing. Let that tower come in and fall on this queen of swords for what they just did to you. Let that tower come in and fall on the queen of swords for what they just did to you. You guys make sure that you stay nurturing, you stay grounded when this person's coming towards you because clearly this Queen of Swords is just a hater ass and they can't and they don't like that. They don't like that you carry this type of power. They see if some they see something within you and they don't like that. So I can only see this in like two different ways is that you're either very powerful, that you are definitely a leader, and you take control. And when if something doesn't seem right, you guys get up and leave. It is what it is. This Queen of Swords thinks that they're going to be able to say something to you just before you walk out that door, Three of Wands. And then the Spirit is saying, just stay quiet. Like, act like you never heard nothing because they're going to bring the tower on the Queen of Swords. 
And they're going to be really upset because you're actually very loving and very beautiful person. Lover's card. Yep, it is what it is. They just, all you got to do is got to protect your energy. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person might think that you guys are in a relationship with somebody at your workplace and they're confused about it. So they're like attacking you and thinking some stupid shit. Yeah, I just see this just hating energy, but they don't really know what's going on. So this person, the tower is going to come in for this person, the Queen of Swords, and it's going to make them suffer with a lot of paranoia and a lot of fear, a lot of delusional energy. They're not going to understand what's going on. They got themselves involved in something they should never have got themselves involved in. Three of Cups. They're going to try and f come back and for ask you for forgiveness. Will you forgive me after me cussing you out? <laughs> and you're calling friggin' judgment. Not only are you calling judgment, but whoever this King of Pentacles is, is the one that's going to start seeing things for exactly what it is. Hermit card. So this Queen of Swords might think that she can say and do what she wants to say at any given time and treat her employees the way that she wants to treat, the way that she chooses to treat them. But this Queen of Swords doesn't realize that there's somebody much more powerful than her being the King of Pentacles. So judgment's coming in on her for what she's just did to you. And not only that, the King of Pentacles is going to come in and he's going to be showing up as the Hermit card now. Not only is he going to show up as a hermit, he's going to come in and, and speculate and try and figure out what's really going on at the workplace and what's actually happening. Uh, so he looks like he's going to have to figure out and uh, and see what's going on so that way he can figure it out. But I do see that this person that is being rude to you, they're going to end up suffering with uh, uh, paranoia, fear, dreams, and they're going to be asking you for forgiveness and the King of Pentacles is going to have to make a decision, but he's not going to make a decision right away. It's the Hermit card. He's going to be watching everything and any, everything and everything from now on. It's like he's going to, like, there's a policy. Like, I can see surveillance. Like, I can see it all happening with the Hermit card to the King of Pentacles. Like, they're going to, he's going to be watching this Queen of Swords, uh, like, so tightly for what they've just done to you. And that's that Queen of Swords karma. Thanks, cuties.